morning. I've been waiting for you. I'm so excited to see you today. Well, you see my cap. Ooh, it's nice and warm. And my nice warm sweater. And the reason I have this on is because it's chilly outside. Mm -hmm. The weather has changed. We're into the autumn season. Or here in North America, where we live, we call it the fall. But either name is correct. Autumn or fall. So, what are some of the things that happen in, in the autumn season? Well, one, the days get shorter. Two, the leaves begin to prepare for winter. And we see them falling off the trees. Sometimes they're orange, mm -hmm. sometimes they're yellow, and sometimes they're brown. You remember they started off being green. So, uh, this, this gives us a sign that the seasons have changed. Fall has begun. And that brings us right into our Sunday school lesson, the tale of two trees. Now the word tale in our story today means the story of two trees. And we're going to be looking into the book of Psalms, the Psalms 1. And we're going to go through that and learn some things about trees and what God loves. Okay, let's get right into it. Starting with verse 1, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the congregation of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Okay, that, that's a whole lot. But actually, all that is saying is that this particular man is, that, that is being described, all he is doing is just staying away from anyone, anything that would keep him away from God and staying as close as he can to God. Now, it's not just talking about a man. It's a woman, a man, a boy, and a girl. Yes. So, we want to stay away from things that would distract us from God. Uh, there are many things that um, they just will, keep, well, if there's anyone that's trying to make you do things that God doesn't like, God doesn't love, then we stay away from them. And we stay away from things that would that that would keep us from loving God. Okay? Let's go to our second verse. Our second verse says, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And simply all that is saying is this. Um, a righteous person, he, he grows deep roots into God. And... Um, and not only to God, but in His Word. And by thinking about the Word day and night, it just keeps a person um, so happy. And, 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 and it keeps you with peace. And so that's all that's saying is that a person that really loves God, they're going to think about Him. Not just when on Sundays when they come to church, or not just when they are, are looking at a Sunday school lesson like this. We should think about God all the time. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to our third verse. Uh, it says, And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. And, uh, and his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. That's saying a whole lot, but let's get right to the meat of it. All that simply is saying is that healthy trees, a healthy tree, it produces healthy leaves. So that's all that is saying is that when you are where you should be in the Lord, when you love him like you should, you are going to have a wonderful relationship with him. And not only that, but you're going to, uh, you're going to always uh, produce uh, uh, beautiful leaves, um, joy, peace. These are some of the fruits that are there. Uh, you, you know, people will see you, uh, see the fruits, good fruits. Good. You're always trying to do what's good and what's best. Okay, and let's go on. And it says that um, the next verse, the sh but the ungodly, un, 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 ungodly are not so. I didn't say godly. I said ungodly are not so, but they are like the shaft which the 
when you drive it away. Now, chaff is, uh, if you have a seed, it's the outer part of the seed. And what the farmers used to do, they used to, because uh, they don't need the chaff, that they, they need the seed. And so they would take that, that um, they would take the, the chaff and throw it in the air and all that, uh, uh, the seed, I'm sorry, and all that chaff that was on the seed, it would just blow away into the wind. And then the seed was left. And that's important. See, so it's saying that the ungodly are like the chaff, which the wind drives away. Okay, let's go on. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. So what do we say from there? Trees need water, as we said, and sunlight, and sunlight to grow, and to be tall and healthy. And that's the same way a righteous person needs to stay close to God, to grow spiritually strong. We have to. We have to stay close to God. I mean, if you never pray, if you never open your Bible, if you never think about God, you're not going to be healthy, and you're not going to produce good fruit, and you're, you're just not going to be close to God. Okay? But an ungodly person, I think now, we just said what a godly person does. They do. They stay close to God. They read their Bible. They pray. But now an ungodly person cannot be strong. They can't, they, they can't be strong. A person, the only way you're going to be strong is that you have to be close to God. Uh, like a healthy tree that stands, you know, tall. And, and, and they're standing uh, in the sun. And they, they're nourished by the rivers of water. And that's important where, where a tree is planted. If a tree is planted in a desert, do you think it's going to grow? Probably not. But if it's planted by a river of water, that's a whole nother story. Okay? And, it, of course, and it has sunshine. So these are some of the important things. Okay, let's go to the end of this. For the Lord, he knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. That means die. Okay, their ways. So, you know, God watches over his righteous people. But the ungodly people, they will perish just like that shaft that threw away. Yeah, blow it away in the wind. Yes. So, but God takes care of those he loves. Now, you know, in Matthew, that's in the New Testament. Remember, that's the first book uh, in the gospel of the, of the uh, four gospels. Matthew. Uh, there's something that there is... Um, now in the morning, as he returned into the city, this is a story, uh, the, the, and this story is talking about Jesus. He was going to the city, and he was hungry. And so he saw this fig tree, and uh, he came to it. Now, we're talking about Jesus being hungry, and he didn't find a thing on it. Now, this fig tree had beautiful leaves, and it looked like it had some fruit. But when Jesus put his hand in there, there was not a piece of fruit there. Can I ask you a question? Do you think Jesus knew that there was no fruit on that tree before he put his hand in there? Yeah, you're right. He knew that all along. But he was just trying to show the disciples, his disciples, a lesson. He was going to show them. A and this is what he said. He said, uh, he said to that fig tree, he said, because you don't have any fruit, he said, you are going to wither away. You shall wither away. And it did. It died. It so, this withering tree was an example of God's displeasure with people who don't bear spiritual fruit. Love, joy, peace. Um, and what else? there are many more. There, 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 there's temperance, there's faith. You know, this fig tree had leaves, sure enough, but it just didn't have fruit. So it didn't provide food for Jesus when he was hungry. So God judges the wicked and he blesses. When we make good choices and try our best to do what God wants us to do, He blesses us. He, he does. God's Spirit is like the sunshine mm -hmm, and water. His Spirit teaches, uh, helps us to produce fruit. Yeah, you know, just like the, the, the trees need the sunshine and the water, but His Spirit helps us to produce fruit. In fact, you can't really produce fruit unless you have His Spirit. Uh, spiritual people are healthy people. Uh, healthy in the Lord and they produce fruit of God's spirit and you know what not only does it help us but it helps others and that's what's so wonderful about it so 
I hope you got a little something out the lesson today. Something that you can take with you on this week. And let's let's pray. Let's let's pray right now. Lord, we love you. We thank you for your word, Father, as always. We thank you how you help us and show us how to live righteous in this life, Lord. We thank you, Father, because you help us to make the right decisions every day. And especially when we ask you to help us, Lord God. Oh, Father, we thank you, Father, for helping us to make right cho uh, choices that will help uh, not only ourselves, but others, Lord God. Father, we thank you for uh, helping us to be healthy trees planted by the rivers of water. We thank you and we praise you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Now we can go forth as healthy trees. Bring forth, and that's most important, that we bring fruit. I'm going to say goodbye right now till next week. I love you, but God loves you more. Have a beautiful